Good afternoon, everybody. Pigskin Pete here. Happy overreaction Monday to everybody. We saw one hell of a weekend in college football. LSU goes down. Washington State goes down. UCF's quarterback gets hurt, which is a, a big deal because with all the other losses that happened, UCF was still in the conversation. We've also seen a massive overreaction to some of the teams that actually won their games. And I'm going to get into all of that right now. So buckle your seatbelts. Let's get rolling. I'm going to start with the massive, massive overreaction to Clemson's defense this weekend against the South Carolina Boom Chickens. Now, look, anybody who's been on this channel for more than a month or a week or however long you've been here knows that there's nobody I love to hate on more. There's nobody I give less respect to than the South Carolina Gamecocks. Even myself came on the show and said, oh, they'll beat them by more than 26 points. No problem. They're terrible. Clemson's one of the you know, top two teams in the country, without a doubt. Well, I'm here to tell you, folks. The Twitter trolls came out of the woodwork. And not even just the Twitter trolls. People that consider themselves to be real experts in football. Came out of the woodwork. Oh, they gave up 35 points to South Carolina. Alabama would steamroll them. Is that a fact? Because some people have some very, very short memories. You can go and pick out one single game, two games throughout a 12-game season and make your case to trash any defense in America. Let's look at some of these top teams. And I'm going to get into Michigan in a minute because that's, that, that's a downfall on my part. Uh, I should have known better. I'll get into them after I get done with, with this segment here. The number one fan base doing this, all over social media, hell, even on my own YouTube channel, the comments that started flying in after that game uh, stopped. First of all, I, I mean, I wasn't surprised. I mean, I get it. Uh, if you're an Alabama fan, you see South Carolina put up 35 points, you start licking your chops, right? Well, here's the reality. As much as I love to trash South Carolina, as much as I would love to see them lose every single game they ever play for the rest of history, the fact of the matter is, South Carolina has a top 30 offense in America. Jake Bentley is a third-year starter and a damn good quarterback. Debo Samuel and Bra uh, Brandon Edwards, are Bra yeah, yeah, Brandon Edwards, they are elite receivers. Everybody knows it. Debo Samuel will go down as one of the uh, best receivers to ever come through South Carolina, to ever come through the SEC. And he had one hell of a game, and I, you got to give him credit for that. On top of that, did Clemson blow some coverages? Yes. Did they play their best defensive game of the year? No. They didn't. But... They beat their in-state rival by three touchdowns for the fifth year in a row. Went 12-0. and And I don't care how bad you want to say the ACC is. That's good for you. I can make an argument that the Pac-12 and the Big, T Big Ten are just as bad. And I will make that argument. But they're still 12-0. and And... The most points they've given up all year is to, uh, 35 points to a pretty good South Carolina offense. On the other hand, what you have here is an Ohio State team that blew out their, uh, their rival Michigan, a Michigan team who had the number one offense in America, until you dig deeper. Now, I, I'm a I'm victim of this myself. Even I picked Michigan to beat Ohio State. Against my better judgment. Against all of the videos that I posted throughout the offseason and, and th through the first half of this season, that Jim Harbaugh should be fired and that he won't be fired because they love him there for some reason. Even I fell into the snake oil sales pitch that somehow Jim Harbaugh had finally turned things around. But when you look at Michigan's defense, how the hell they were rated number one in the country is beyond me. I give myself a lot of blame for this. 
<laughs> Michigan had not faced a single offense in the regular season outside of Notre Dame the first week of the uh, season. That's a top 60 team. Hell, more than half of them, or at least half of them, were ranked over 100 in total offense. That's who they've faced this year. They've faced no offense. When they finally faced a team that has a good offense, they got drubbed. Drubbed. Jim Harbaugh is not the answer, Michigan. He won't get fired. Hell, he won't get fired this year. He probably won't get fired next year. But when you have a guy who's one of the top three or four highest paid coaches in America, he's been there for four years now, and cannot beat his in-state rival, even when his in-state rival was considered to be an underdog this year, a down year for them, which in hindsight is ridiculous because Ohio State's 11-1 and in the Big Ten. Now, Ohio State, Another team. Great offense. But they've given up 50 points to Maryland. Hell, they even gave up 35 to Michigan. Michigan doesn't have a good offense. They got blown out by Purdue. Blown out. But the narrative coming out of the media and, of course, uh, all the fans on uh, social media at the end of this weekend is Clemson's overrated. We've been hearing that for 10 years now, haven't we? Have you people not learned your lesson yet? Clemson's overrated. Did Clemson give up 50 points to a bad Maryland team? Did Clemson get blown out by an average team like Purdue? No. Clemson's not defeated. And Alabama fans, shame on you. Shame on you. You should know better by now to d- disrespect Clemson. These fools are coming on all, all over social media, all over my channel, all over other people's YouTube channels that I watch as well. I, you think I, don't, I can't read the comments section? You think I only watch my channel? I see you fools. I see you morons all over the internet making your team look bad. Shame on you. Oh, after what we saw South Carolina do to Clemson's defense this week, It's going to be a cakewalk when we play Clemson. (laughs) You really believe that? Do you really believe that? Because you believe that. And I've got some oceanfront property in Nebraska for sale at a premium price. Have you forgotten already? Did you already forget that you gave up 30 one points to a terrible Arkansas team. Terrible. The same Arkansas team that got shut out by Missouri last week. That's right, the same one. So when you start looking at Missouri's, I'm sorry, Arkansas's offense, which is one of the worst in America, Versus a South Carolina offense, it's a top 30 offense in America. You might want to check yourself. Take a look in the mirror. Because if Clemson had played that Alabama team that day, they gave up 30 points to Arkansas, we would have hung 80 on you. If Clemson would have played that Alabama team that gave up 17 points to a four-win FCS military school and Citadel, we would have hung 80 on you. Let's go back to, uh, what was it, 2016. The year that Clemson won the national title. Yeah, I know the game was played in 2017, but it's a 2016 season before you start type, type, typing. We lost and gave up 500 yards to a 500 pit team at home. 
everyone said, oh, Clemson's overrated. They just gave up 500 yards and lost to a bad 500 ACC pit team. They're overrated. They're terrible. What happened? What happened just a sh- few short weeks later, folks? Uh, if, if, you, if you don't remember, I'll give you a hint. Wait, who did we beat to get that? Who did we beat to get that ring? The almighty Bama! So keep wishing, keep hoping. Get on your knees and pray at night. If you're Alabama. Get on your knees and pray at night that the team that uh, gave up 35 points to South Carolina shows up whenever we face you, if we face you. Because I'm realistic, unlike you people. These people think they can't lose a football game. I don't think that way. See, I've been a fan of my team prior to 2008. I, I suffered through 25, 30 years of an eight and eight or eight and four, seven and five football team. I don't take winning, going 12 and 0, going to the playoffs every year for granted, unlike the Gumps do. You can always tell if a fan that was there when the team was struggling versus the ones that just came along for the ride. Because if any these ones that think that Alabama can't lose and, and that they would blow Clemson out of the water, they were not fans prior to 2008. I know our team can lose. I know we're human. I know Alabama's human too. And if you put Alabama and Clemson on a field, right now, the two teams they have right now, the rosters they have right now, eight times, I think it would be four and four. Be anybody's game in any given week. But these fools are licking their chops. Oh, we can't wait to play Clemson. Have you lost your mind? You can't wait to play an NFL defensive line? Because we've all seen what happens whenever you play elite defensive lines. Mississippi State. Lucky as hell to get out of there with a win, didn't you? Needed the ref's help. Tua does great when he's got a clean pocket and he can throw darts all day. Doesn't look so hot whenever he's got Christian Wilkins running up his ass. Ohio State fans, congratulations on a great win. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I'm sorry. I apologize. From the bottom of Pigskin Pete's black heart. I apologize. What got into my head to make me think that Jim Harbaugh could beat Urban Meyer? I don't know. I mean, maybe I maybe I had too many Bud Lights. Actually, that's true. I did. I had, I had too many Bud Lights. That's not debatable. But Ohio State fans, of all the fan bases in America are coming out of the woodwork after one great game against an overrated Michigan. We've seen that now. Saying that they're the second or third best team in the country? Oh, please. Jesus. Jesus. If there is a Jesus, I promise I will never forsake you If you put Ohio State in the playoffs and let Clemson play them, please, Jesus. Because if Michigan can put up 35 on you, then we can hang 80 on you. Not to mention the fact that we're 3-0 against you. Lifetime. Urban Meyer's 0-2 against Dabo Sweeney and the Tigers. And the last time we saw you in the playoffs, you put up a big fat nothing burger. (laughs) 
I almost hope that Clemson just, although I want it, I want it so bad. I want it so bad to go 4-0 against you and, and blow you out again. I mean, that would make pick, picks in Pete's year. Hell, we could we could beat Ohio State in the semifinals and go on to uh, to lose to Alabama eighty to nothing. But my my heart will still be filled with joy. Everybody, calm down. Okay. If you're an Ohio State fan, calm down. If you're a Clemson fan, calm down. Shame on the Clemson fans, too. Now, listen, if you want to say uh, you were upset with our defensive performance this weekend, I'm with you. I'm, I'm upset with it, too. But to pretend as if somehow the sky is falling and, and the season is over because we gave up 35 points to a really, really good offense, you're, I mean, that's a ridiculous statement. Ridiculous. Congratulations to the Boom Chickens for coming within three scores of Clemson. <laughs> Good job. Maybe next year. Yeah, right. Congratulations, Alabama. You blew out a terrible Auburn team. I think that's all I got. Michigan Fire Jim Harbaugh. Do yourself a favor. What are you doing? This guy's a joke. It's a joke. Go Tigers. The hell with the rest of you. Have a great day. Big Skin Pete checking out.